Basically from uh, doing years of IT work, I wanted to take my IT experience and apply it somewhere else that would make a bigger difference in, in the world. I entered just after my studies because I was frustrated on how you could read about the industry and I was extremely curious and so I started La Biotech to, to solve that frustration which a lot of people had as well. I was actually working for another industry, the high tech industry and the food industry at the time. And then someone asked me, an investor, whether I wanted to become an executive of a biotech company. I thought, why not? No, I would say I've been very fortunate to have been able to hire some, some really good um, young business development professionals. A yes and no, it really depends. I think talent is all over the place and there are many motivated people, young people, who want to work for the biotech industry. But of course you have to be a little bit flexible and I think therefore if you find flexible, interested people with passion, that is always a way to join the biotech industry. I don't find it difficult. I think there's a lot of motivated, highly trained people. I think the difficulty is recognizing personalities that come with talent that can really make it in our industry. And I, I focus a lot on that in my work. Well, definitely starting La Biotech was a lot of risk, a lot of uncertainty, but at the end it really pays off. My best career move was moving to Vienna, here to Apiron Biologics. I haven't regretted one single day. I, I think my best uh, career move was taking a, a, a risk. I look for people who um, can understand the science so they can talk to our scientists, people who are good communicators and, and work very well with the rest of our team and who are enthusiastic. I really want to see that these are people that have the personality that allows them to translate that skill into something meaningful in our industry. I want someone who understands what's the impact of biotech and how it's changing the world and I think that's really a common thing for everyone in the team. I would have probably spent more time talking with people that had succeeded. Ask them questions like, tell me how you failed, and tell me how you recovered from your failure. I mean, I'm still quite young, um, but if I one one key advice is finding a mentor earlier. It's really someone with, who did a very similar thing with three to five years ahead of you, and who can really help you be there, be passionate, enjoy every single day and follow up on everything. Make sure you do what you plan and just do it. That's my advice. <laughs>